Today we have a special guest making her return to the channel and her first appearance of 2020. This is my wife, Robin. Hi. She's put together a list of 10 of my best looks ever, according to her. Mm -hmm. And uh, be sure to stick around to the end because I know she's gonna throw in a couple clunkers, so something to look forward to, but why don't we just jump right into it with the first look here. Are we gonna talk about how you are matching me today? This is what I had on, <laughs> but it's a very nice outfit. I agree. Okay, let's take a look at this first one here. So, I don't know, it's just very classic, clean. You can see how perfect everything's fitting you. I will say I usually don't love those striped um, shirts on men. I feel like a lot of movies, every time they show like the finance guy or like Wall Street guy, he's always wearing like a striped shirt and the white collar, but the striped collar works nice. And then the tie, I like that it's a little bit darker, um, kind of pulls everything together. And that's like your smoldering face. Smolder, so, my smoldering face? Yeah, yeah this, is just, this is just a really classic look. It's like the menswear uniform, really easy pattern mixing with the mm -hmm. stripes and the medallion print and the tie. So yeah, this is actually one of my most popular yeah. photos ever. So you say um, all that much better than I do. <laughs> <laughs> all right, next look here, number two. Woof. That's pretty good. <laughs> Very Bond. Very, I like the juxtaposition of like the little bit of the scruff on the face and the slicked back hair with a perfectly tailored white dinner jacket. There, I mean, there's only so many times you can wear that, but that looks pretty sharp. You like the scruff with the tuxedo? Because some people aren't a into little. that. Just a I little. Just I think some, if it's too much, maybe not, but it's just like the shadow of it, yes. Do you like this jacket because it has mm -hmm. some kind of significance? Oh, that too, yeah. Wedding, right. wedding tux. Right, this is the one that mm -hmm. I had made by Edward Sexton for our wedding. Yeah, yeah this is a cool look. I went with the um, the kind of, uh, not a butterfly bow tie, but the uh, uh, straight end bow tie there. Um, mm -hmm. Do you like that too? Sure. Yeah? Okay. I don't know if I see the difference in, in that detail, but yeah, everything looks very nice. Cool. Another classic look. Mm -hmm. All right. Again, the smoldering look. Smoldering. Mm -hmm. There you go. That's the key. <laughs> All right. Next look here. Also from our trip to London. Is that the same jacket as the first one? It is the same jacket. Yep. It looks a little different, but I like how it's still... It. I feel like sometimes when a guy puts a tailored jacket with chinos, it can look like it doesn't balance properly, but something about that jacket, it's a little bit more relaxed. <clears throat> Looks nice with the chinos, a little bit of a open collar. It's because it, it can work if it's the right fabric and that's a hop sack fabric. So I think that's why it works so well there. Um, that's one of the reasons that I love that suit and I love that jacket. There's just like so many different things that you can do with it. Mm -hmm. Not the smoldering look though. No, I, I think those were the only two that I picked that you had that look. No, something very simple, classic, elegant, but very put together. What about the fact that I have a button unbuttoned on my shirt. Some people don't like that. I like it. Yeah. I mean, if it's not like totally open, <laughs> I think like it's check fine. out all my man yeah. and chest hair. Or like a little bit of hair on the top. Yeah, no, that's, <laughs> that's fine. And I think it's also, that's the right color chino. It's not too khaki. So um, it feels a little bit more elevated than if it was more of like a tan color. Got it. Mm -hmm. Got it. So a little bit different. It's a classic look, but it's got a little bit of a different yeah, spin a little on fresh. It. All right, next we're gonna move on to the fourth look here. This is, what year is that? 2017. Love a three-piece suit. This one I think is a little bit more special because it's the tweed, it has the elbow patches on it. Is that called something specific? Just patch pockets? No, no, it's el elbow patches. Okay. Um, really like the, the tie, really like the collar on the shirt. Um, it, I feel like you just look very confident in it and it's very very um, pulled together but not forced. It doesn't feel like you did, like some of the looks at the end are gonna feel a little bit more forced. This feels like a nice balance of classic but a little bit of a twist. I think, is that a blue top or is that white? It's blue. Yeah, mm -hmm. that, I think that's a little bit unexpected. Yeah, this was the first suit that I ever had made by Michael Andrews. It's mm -hmm. a, a brown Donegal tweed. I actually have trouble styling it, so I'm glad really? that I'm glad that you picked this. This isn't my my one of my favorite looks, but um, I appreciate that you like it. Okay, moving on here, look number five. Is that all linen? That is all linen. I like it. it's very 
casual, a little bit open on the top, not too much. The rolled up sleeves, I feel like it's um, a very tailored look, but it's perfectly casual the way that you have it. Like if the sleeves weren't rolled up, I don't think I would have liked it as much, but the whole um, effortless chic look plus the hat, I feel like it really works here. It's hard to, I, I hate dressing in the summer <clears throat> and mm -hmm. fabrics are like really important um, and staying like in that kind of like tailored realm is hard I feel in the mm -hmm. summer, but yeah. Yeah, this, this is a good one, I agree. I'd also say <laughs> you in blues and you in browns are like your color. Cool, yeah, I've got my colors that I mm -hmm. like. Moving on. Cool, Brian. I like the, the fit of the jeans. It's the perfect color dark, I feel like, to be like casual, but a little bit like fancier casual. The plaid coat on its own, I feel like would have been enough to make it a little bit more elevated and not so casual, but I really like the addition of the, what you call it, the indoor scarf mm -hmm. on top of it. It's very minimal, but a little bit of a twist. I like the, the cardigan in this one too. Mm -hmm. It's hard to sometimes like, dress up a casual look and yeah. just layer a cardigan, a scarf. It's all about like the layering in here. Mm -hmm. And, and um, this coat is awesome. So yeah, this, this is a good look. Yeah. Agreed. Aligned or aligned. Aligned, aligned as you say. All right, next look here. Like, I don't know why I like this so much. Um, I think this is again, another casual Brian look. I like a few things. So the brown, I like that it's a very rich brown. Um, and it, but it doesn't match the shoes perfectly and it's the like leather plus suede. I feel like if you had suede Chelsea boots on or the boots were darker, I may not have liked it as much. You don't like my dark suede Chelsea boots. I, they're not my favorite, but if you had them with this, I probably wouldn't have liked it. Yeah. I like that the... Look too matchy. Yes. The fitted waistcoat looks nice with the more like deconstructed coat. I know you have more of like a denim jacket, um, boxy brown suede coat. I feel like if you wore that with this, it would have been too much. So I'd like that it's a little bit softer. Um, I mean, you just look really happy in it too. It's kind of similar to the last one in that there's like, if you take the waistcoat out, it's mm -hmm. like a completely different look, yes. but the waistcoat sort of that little extra layer in there mm -hmm. sort of helps, helps make it. Yeah. I was talking with Rob. I remember exactly where we were when like every single photo you're choosing here mm -hmm. other than the ones that you've taken like i remember exactly yeah. where we were what yeah. it felt like the time of day when we made this photo and i think this was the first time that we shot in this particular location yeah, yeah it was like a it's a good spot kind of a happy accident that we found that spot and you could also see like i want to touch the coat in that photo yeah it looks we're, really soft we're suede yeah <laughs> i'll just be touching you the whole time <laughs> or men okay uh next one is this number eight Good look. So I have to say, I don't usually like light gray. So I remember when you were picking this out, this wasn't my favorite color mm -hmm. originally, but that's usually because suiting um, pieces when they're in a light gray, it's that heathered gray with like the, you can see the lines a little bit more in it. I don't love that look. I don't know why I just, I feel like it looks better in different colors usually when mm -hmm. you're seeing them all lined up. But that gray, because it's more of a solid and the flannel and the double-breasted, I feel like that was your first double-breasted blazer that you bought. Mm, that I first remember. nice one. Nice one. Nice one. Yeah, mm -hmm. this this I got at Al Bazaar in Milan when the first time we went there. It is, I, I'll agree, it is difficult, I think, to style a lighter gray jacket yeah. and i don't wear this as much as mm -hmm. maybe i should maybe i'll wear it tonight when we go out to dinner okay <laughs> i also like that there's i mean there's nothing else happening here you have a white pocket square white top solid tie solid pants but it it still feels like there's something extra happening maybe it's a double breasted possibly the yeah. the the buttons on the the coat too are darker mm -hmm. which i think um pulls everything together you have yeah. the dark pants the dark tie and the dark buttons so all right, moving right on, number nine. This is the most casual look that I picked. Um, I feel like this is the trendiest that you've ever, well, that you go, but it still <laughs> looks like it fits. It doesn't feel forced, it doesn't look overdone. Um, this, I think it also helps that the suit is really put together. If it was a little bit more relaxed, maybe I wouldn't have liked it as much, but it fits you really well. Everything's looking good and the pop of like the print below is a little bit unexpected, but mm -hmm. well done. 
I won't comment on the sock, the shoeless look, uh, the sockless, sockless look. look, because I know that everyone will freak out. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. Something about this one that I don't. No. I don't really like. I. I think it's because I know this suit and. and you don't like um, the suit anymore. I don't like the suit anymore. It. It. It never really. It was like one of the first sort of made-to-measure suits that I had. Mm -hmm. It was from Brooks Brothers, and the, the pants like never fit mm. really well. Well, that um, shot yeah. specifically doesn't look like it doesn't fit. Really. I guess like when I see this, I can just remember. I know how the pants used to fit yeah. and how uncomfortable they were. Mm -hmm. um, but you know. I paid for it, so I wore it as yeah. much as I could. <laughs> so, yeah. I like it. Yeah, I, I like throwing in. I, I love this this printed shirt that I have, mm -hmm. and I wear it all the time. Um, yeah, I love throwing that in, just like a, a plain mm -hmm. plain color suit. It, it adds a little something extra. And obviously, that was summer. It was really hot, so that look made sense mm -hmm. also when you were wearing it. Totally. Totes. All right, ten. Another good three-piece suit. I will have to caveat this. This is one of the photos that when I was when I first came across He Spoke Style, that was one of the most recent photos, this and that's is, kind of what captured my attention. This is from October 2013. Yeah. Um, I really like the gray three-piece suit on you. I like the... You don't usually wear solid ties that often, or maybe not as much anymore. I feel mm -hmm. like I like the simplicity of the look because the three piece on its own is kind of enough. You don't need to do a ton more to it. Um, but even in like the pop of red too, I feel like it all, I like this. I remember, I remember when we shot this, I remember everything about it. This was like one of my first like suits that I got. This is from Reese. Mm -hmm. I still wear the jacket, yes. uh, the pants again, like the pants just didn't mm -hmm. really work for me. Um, and the waistcoat. And you have a good one of those, like the men's wear. Like, that was the first time. I don't know time. how you do that when you're like, you get that perfect flip on the, the bottom. The flare on the jacket. Yeah. That was the first time that we did that. And I remember like when we saw the photo, we were like, oh, that's so cool. <laughs> Nailed it. Yeah. What, I don't know what color the shoes are. are those like They're burgundy. Oxblood? Yeah. yeah. Burgundy or oxblood. Sure. I like it. All right. More three-piece suits. You said 10, but I mm -hmm. think there, there's 11, right? I think there's yeah. one more. Oh, yeah. we lied. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> so here's her 11th favorite look of mine. But don't worry. The bad ones are coming up too. And they're worth the wait, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Another another early one. This is this is July 2013. You just started doing it, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. February, uh, mid-February 2013. So unlike the looks that we're going to see, I feel like this was one of the ones that's a little bit um, funkier for you in the beginning, but I feel like it, it works. The, again, the shirt rolled up a little bit of an open collar. It kind of makes the, um, the waistcoat and the pants, the more tailored look a little less stuffy. Mm -hmm. And it's, I mean, just really simple, classic. Yeah. I call this the sleeveless summer suit, getting the like most, it. getting the most out of your three piece suit. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, it's it's nice to go back to see these like really early looks because some of them, some of them really work and yeah. it's like, like after almost seven years, I kind of like, have, I'm like, oh, I, I don't, it's like I forget about it, you know, mm -hmm. but it's nice to go back and kind of revisit it. It's something if you put it on now, it would not, like it still works now. Exactly. Good job. Well, what's next? The bad ones. The bad ones. <laughs> All right. Well, you know, I did do a video on you did. my worst looks. And I feel like there's maybe one or two that are really But those are the ones that I picked. These yes. are your yes. least favorite looks, so... Mm -hmm. I can't wait to see. <laughs> <sighs> Why don't you describe this a little bit? Um, like 20s Derby, maybe? Kind of Boardwalk Empire-ish. I feel like uh, so I, I hate the bow tie. The bow tie is like <laughs> too narrow or too thin. The rounded collar with the bow tie, for some reason, it's bothering me and I think the I think you do a good job at mixing textures and things from different seasons but the flannel waistcoat with a cotton blazer with everything else I just yeah no I agree that was no. I mean this so this look was put together you did a Preakness series was, right? no no this was how to dress for a summer wedding and if, and, you, if someone came to our wedding like that I'd be really <laughs> upset <laughs> I mean, their own, but. yeah, I, I, I agree. I think there's like too much going on. Um, I don't mind the bow tie. You just don't like the preppy kind of thing. I don't like the preppy thing, but 
I feel like it's something with maybe if the collar was different, the bow tie would fit right. But like, I don't know the, the way that that boat, that close up shot of the bow tie is it's, but I agree like mixing the cotton and the tweed, not such a good move. I mean, at this point, again, this is June, 2013. Yeah. I kind of like working with what I had, mm -hmm. you know, and this is what I had and this is an outfit that I put together and well, I'm really sorry that you don't like it. I liked it at one point. <laughs> but I think it's also like in the um, the straw hat, it's you know, too many things overlap. Yeah, it looks more watch. like a if you went to a theme party, it would be fine. But like a, I don't know where else you would wear this. That's fair. Mm -hmm. All right, next bad one. Mm. So, What's wrong with this? <laughs> so do you remember what I said about like the the striped shirts usually feel like you don't like a contrast finance, collar with like a striped Wall Street guy. I. That looks like you're about to shoot a scene in like a mob movie and or like Boardwalk <laughs> Empire. I, d I personally don't love Seersucker. Mm -hmm. I think that's a very hard thing to do though. I c you can't really tell that Even it's that. Even in that, so that's not like your typical like blue Seersucker. That's like a tan Seersucker. I think if you didn't have the hat and maybe there's like a different tie, I, there's, I, it looks like a theme. To make more of like a costume than Two costume. an outfit okay. that you would really like, you would never wear that out to dinner. Not out to dinner, exactly maybe like to way. maybe like to an event. But I agree, it, it is a little costumey. Yeah, yeah. There's yeah. elements of it that work. I just don't think every the the brown, the seersucker, all the stripes, and the hat on top. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I think it's also the look down. I feel like you're about to um, like walk into Dick Tracy or something with a hat and, <laughs> uh, yeah. This, this, uh, I like this suit. Uh, unfortunately, I, I would number it, I would classify it as one of my regrets in terms of made to measure. This is one made oh. from Saks. Yeah, I wish oh, the I shoulder is too strong. I oh. wish I had like a, an un, um, no padding or no roping in the shoulder, mm -hmm. just like a, a really natural shoulder. So, oh well. Living Rob, there. do you agree? Yes, no? I don't know what the look is. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> All right, moving on. Two more to go. Mm -hmm. Well, all right. I know you don't like cricket sweaters. I don't want to say I don't like them, but <laughs> remember when I said before you were wearing the brown suede coat, you had something very fitted underneath, <clears throat> but then you had something looser. I think because everything looks, um, I don't want to say baggy, but a little bit more of a loose fit. There's nothing tailored bringing it together. But yes, I don't. Totally love the preppy look in general. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't like this look either. I agree. This. I. I would also. Was this in your roundup? I don't know. I don't think I put it in there, but I definitely should have. This. This number is among my least favorite looks as well. Mm -hmm. I'm just. It, I'm just trying too hard. I got like the barn jacket, the cricket sweater, or some, mm -hmm. some chinos that don't really fit so well, and no. bad shoes, and yeah, it's. It's okay. It's not the worst. No, but... it's bad. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, last one here. I'm, I'm sensing a theme. There's the bow tie. There's the fact I that... I like, but the first, um, the with the white tuxedo, you have a bow tie, and that's sure, fine. Sure, sure. And, and this, this I think, I'm going to guess that you're going to say it looks too costumey. But, so if you <laughs> wore a, a tie and you didn't have the hat on, mm -hmm. I don't think it would have bothered me as much. But I think all of that together, like I, I just said I love that suit, and I love you in a waistcoat and the pants that was another look it's just the again like the finishing touches of everything the other one it had like an open collar the sleeves were a little bit more rolled up this seems a little bit more forced than um the other <clears throat> outfits looked like you just threw them on and you like walked out like cool guy no problem this feels like you thought like you can see that you really planned this out a little bit more yeah i agree i mean definitely it's costumey um this is like I would say this is sort of like the mistake that every guy makes mm -hmm. when they first get into style. Because like, like this was the very beginning of, of the journey for me, yep. really thinking about it. This is mid-October 2013. Yep. And, uh, you know, you just, you, you're trying things out and, 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 and inevitably that results in something that looks like you tried too hard yep. and you tried to do too much. And But it's good that you did that because the other looks, you figured out another way to wear that a few months later, well, mm -hmm. um, 
I mean, you've worn those pieces a ton since then, just not all together. And now we can look back at it and laugh. <laughs> <laughs> With love. Yeah. Well, yes. thank you very much. Uh, you. Appreciate Robin coming back on the channel. Leave a comment and let us know if you'd like to see more of her and what types of topics you'd like to see um, us discuss together. Um, I really enjoy having her on the channel. So um, leave your comments down below. Let, let me know or let us know what you thought of the, all those looks. If you, if you liked them, if you disagreed, if you agreed. Um, thumbs up if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and be sure to hit that bell so you get notified every single time that we publish a new video. So that's all for now. Thanks for watching, guys, and stay tailored. Ringo. <laughs> <laughs> What, do you want to do you want to help? This is a no cat zone. Oh, did I leave the door open? <laughs> oh, now he's gonna have to roll us off. <laughs> he has an opinion too. He likes this look. Okay, okay, kitty. You've made your you made your cameo. Okay. Oh, careful. <laughs>